Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Dan. Yeah. All right. First, I want to say welcome back to uh, another video, and thank you guys for always tuning in and checking out the video. All right. In this video, you know, you saw my in a couple of videos before where I harvested some sweet potato. You know, you know, I planted those late, you know, late last year, and I harvest that you know in, in May. So. I started some new slips, so we're gonna be planting those slips today because we want more sweet potato in the end of the year. All right, so you know we're gonna go through it step by step. Oh, oh, I plant my sweet potato slips. All right, so let's go check it out. Watch how fast these actually push roots. Okay, guys, I have these containers. Let's put these in and water. Leave them here. That's it. Nothing else. Okay. So we're gonna check back in these in a few days. All right. So we're back over here now. So these are some sweet potato slips that. You know, I put in the put in water. See, they have you know a few roots. Sweet potato doesn't need that bunch of roots. To, it's pretty hardy, so it's gonna you know, grow no matter what. One or two roots on the plant, and it's gonna grow. So this is this is ready to go. This is definitely ready to go. This is also ready. So most most of these are actually ready to go right in the ground. Yep, and this is a that is a Japanese variety of sweet potato. The skin is purple when roasted. It's like extremely sweet. Like it's a lot sweeter than the traditional orange. You know, sweet potatoes. Yep. All right. So we see these are actually ready to go directly in the ground. So let's head over to the other part of the garden and plant these into the bed. I got the roots. Yeah. So everything looks good. Yeah, you could actually plant a sweet potato too, even without the roots on it. It's, it's gonna still grow extremely good all right guys so this is the the bed i'm gonna be the the the, the ac unit just came on so yeah, please you know just bear with me on that all right the this is a four by four bed you know we're looking at right here and this is where i you know had my previous sweet potatoes yeah so i'm gonna be planting back right in the same bed you know you remember sweet potatoes are fine it's gonna run all over but i do eat the sweet potato leaves you know when there's not much bug bites and stuff like that you know and you could also plant you know sweet potatoes in in a container if you choose i did that last year i'm gonna do it again because i still have a lot more slips and if you're actually in the area i could give you some of these slips if you need some you have a lot yeah all right so let's get planting all right guys so this is all this is sweet potato i'm just gonna just dig a hole put it deep now that's it I'm gonna be putting them maybe a f like a foot apart. Yeah. That's it. This 
simple as that guys the sweet potato is, is real easy to, to, to plant yep. This is the, the orange looking one. Just adding that in. I put one more of that orange one right here. I like the orange sweet potato, but the purple one is, tastes a lot better. Yep. I'm putting it like maybe a foot apart in, in the bag. And right here is gonna have so much sweet potato leaves. Sweet potato leaves to eat. In the meantime, while it's growing. So when I'm done with this, I'm gonna water it in. That's it. So that's it guys. My sweet potato bed is ready. And we'll be harvesting some sweet potato in maybe November. Yeah. Yep. All right. So that's how simple it is. You guys, so when I get the water bucket, and just water in. Yep. That's that. That's how simple it is. Yep. So you don't need all, you know, to see like a million roots on your sweet potato to actually. Put it out in the garden. Just a few roots, and you're good. As I said, I've seen people where they actually look. Look at that bug right there. You can actually see. I see the centipede. Yeah, it does. You, you want to see the stuff in the garden? Yep. They're helping to break some stuff right in the garden. 